of the historic nomination of Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court cleared another hurdle overnight. Three Republicans joining all 50 Democratic senators to advance her nomination and set up a final vote later this week. NBC's senior Capitol Hill correspondent, Garrett Haig, joins us now. So, Garrett, first of all, how big of a surprise were these, these crossover votes and what does it mean for the rest of the confirmation battle? Hey, Craig, good morning. Well, Senator Murkowski of Alaska had voted for Judge Jackson's confirmation to her current role, and she's voted for a majority of Joe Biden's judicial nominees, so her vote was less of a surprise. But Mitt Romney actually opposed Judge Jackson's seating on the lower court where she currently sits, and generally he prefers much more conservative judges, so his vote was much more of a surprise. But last night he called Jackson both well-qualified and a person of honor, said even if he doesn't always agree with her, she belongs on the court. Democrats now have a three-vote cushion to work with here, which makes Jackson's confirmation all but a sure thing by the end of this week. So it's all but a done deal now, it would seem. So what kind of political impact here do both parties hope this will have going forward? Well, Democrats are hoping this will put some wind in their political sails here, that they can capture some momentum with a lot of the president's legislative agenda either on ice or slowed down, a lot of the country distracted by things like inflation or by the war in Ukraine. They're hoping that seating the first African-American woman on the Supreme Court can put some wind in their sails heading into November. But Republicans say November is a long way off, and they're hoping that the country simply moves on by the time that votes are actually cast for the midterms and that a judge who doesn't change the conservative liberal balance of power on the court won't sway too many votes back towards Democrats. All right. right. Our senior Capitol Hill correspondent, Garrett Hake, for us this morning. Garrett, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.